Okay, guys, good morning. Pray be to the Lord. We're going to continue with our classes. Now is the opportunity with um, grammar. And we're going to review a new topic. Well, we're going to review a topic where we already saw uh, maybe a few days ago, maybe two weeks ago, that are subjects and object pronouns. I hope you to everybody have the book near to you, right? Uh, we're going to discuss the exercises, right? Because I'm on lesson 11. We're going to discuss all the exercises that appear in there. But first of all, we're going to watch a video about what is, and to remember what is an object and a subject pronoun. So please, everybody pay attention to the video, right? And try to take notes about uh, the video too, okay? singular, the subject pronoun is you. For example, you are watching this video. Now, you is also the subject pronoun for second person plural. For example, you are all studying English. Now, for the third person singular, the subject pronouns are he, she, and it. We use he for male, she for female, and the subject pronoun it is used for non-humans and animals, including pets. For example, 
he is a strong man. She has three children. Cairo is in Egypt. It's a nice place to visit. As for the subject pronoun in the third person plural, we use they. For example, the children speak many languages. They are very clever. In this example, the subject pronoun they is used for humans. Now look at the following example. These cars are expensive. They were made in Germany. The subject pronoun they is used in place of the noun cars because cars is in the plural. And in this example, it is also non-human. Right, now that you've understood what a subject pronoun is, Let's have a look at what an object pronoun is. Take a look at the following example. Dave is my supervisor at work. I saw him today. In this example, him is an object pronoun. An object pronoun is the receiver of an action or verb. In this case, the action or verb is saw. The subject pronoun I is the doer of the action, and him is the object pronoun that receives that action. Right, so what are the object pronouns in the English language? For the first person singular, the object pronoun is me. For example, Dave saw me today. For the first person in the plural form, the object pronoun is us. For example, Dave and I work for a big company. You can find us on the internet. Now, for the second person singular and plural, we use the object pronoun you, just like the subject pronoun. For example, I saw you driving a bus this morning. Lesson will help you all to learn English. For the third person singular, the object pronouns are him, her, and it. For example, Dave is my supervisor at work. I saw him this morning. Kerry is my boss. I saw her yesterday. I have an old car. I bought it three years ago. As for the object pronoun in the third person plural, then we use them. For example, the children are happy today. Their mother took them to the park. <clears throat> okay, so what you need to remember from this lesson is that the subject pronouns are I, we, you, singular, and you, plural, he, she, it, and they. All of these subject pronouns are pronouns that do an action in a sentence. As for the object pronouns, then they are me, us, you, for singular and plural, him, her, it, and them. These object pronouns receive an action in a sentence. In other words, we can say that an object pronoun is the object of a verb. Right, so I guess that's all you need to know for today's lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in to the next episode where we will hopefully be looking at other types of pronouns. See you then, and bye for now from Simon Says. Let's learn.
Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So you remember what is an object and a subject pronoun, right? So let's go to our book and we're going to discuss the exercises from page 163, 164, 165, and, and sorry. Okay. We're going to discuss those exercises. Okay. And I think we already have it, make it, okay? And we already discussed it also. So just to check it, we are going to have the same answers, people, okay? We are on page number 163. We are on page number 163. So with a subject and object pronouns we're going to start with a subject pronoun and an object pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun as we saw in a video a subject pronoun performs the action of the verb in a sentence okay so we have the, the subject pronouns we have in singular and we already have in plural. Which one are singular? I, you, she, he, it. Which one are, are plural? We, you, they. Right? Okay. For example, if you see in your book, for example, Dylan, sorry, Jane read her history text. Jane is the subject, but if we use a pronoun, is she. She read, she read her history text. Let's see the second example. Ed and Mark studied from the test. If we use the subject pronoun, they study for the test. Let's see the example, the exercises. You have to underline the subject and circle the verb in each sentence. Replace the noun with a subject pronoun. We already discussed it. We're just going to check it, right? We are going just to check it. Okay, so people, let's see. The number one, Ken, Lee, and Martha want to write a play about Revolutionary War. Instead, those subjects, we are going to use they. I'm on page 163. I said it and I repeat it five times. See it's one with this one. Number two, Ken begins researching the topic. Instead, Ken, he. Number three, the play takes many weeks to plan it. To plan, sorry. So the word is instead takes it. Number five. The story focuses in the on the ride of Fall River. It. Okay, it. Let's see from the six to 10. I'll underline the correct subject pronoun in each sentence. The number six, they or them are changing the rehearsal schedule. They, that's right. Number seven, 
we or you would like to hear your opinion. We, that's right too. Number eight, you or I were just voted the actor of the play. You, nice. Number nine, Mark and me or I will make the custom. I, very good. And number 10, however, he or him and I or me will ask others to help. The first one is he and the second one is I, very good. Let's see on page number 164. Let's see on page number 164. We're going to talk about the object pronoun. Object, a pronoun to remember is a word that takes place of a noun. And, and an object pronoun takes the place take the place of a noun used after a action verb or after a word such as to, for, with, in, or out. Singular object pronouns are me, you, him, her, it. Plural object pronouns are us, you, them. Yes, I'm in page number 164. For example, history is easy for Liam. History is easy for him. Lars went with Mike and Aideen. Lars with, with them. Let's see. Read each sentence per. Put an X on the blank by the sentence with the correct object pronoun. Number one, Ken wanted me to play Paul River. Or Ken wanted I to play Paul River. The number one or the number two? It's the number one. Let's see the second sentence or the second pair of sentence. He offered parts in the play to play to he and she. The second, he offered parts in the play to him and her. That's right, the number two. The number two. Let's see the third per sentence. Marta emailed copies of the scripts of the scripts to we. Marta emailed copies of the script to us. It's the second one. Very good. Number four. It was a good way for them to study history. It was a good way for them to study history. Exactly. Is the number one. Number six. Uh, sorry, it's number five. Sarah didn't like the way the custom fit she. Sarah didn't like the way the custom fit her. Exactly, is the number two. Two. Number six. The director called they on the phone. The, the, the director called them on the phone. Exactly, is the number two. Number seven. My parents applauded loudly for I. My parents applauded loudly, loudly for me. Exactly is the number two. Let's go on page number 165. To talk about the pronoun and antecedent agreement. A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. An antecedent is the word the pronoun replaces or refers to. 
a pronoun and its antecedent must agree in number and gender. For example, we have pronoun, sentence, and antecedent. The pronoun is I. So the sentence is, I am Emily. What is the antecedent? Emily. No, not you, Emily. It's another Emily. Right. <laughs> it's another one, okay? Let's see number two. The pronoun is you. You are Jana. Jana, no Dana. Jana. Okay? So the antecedent is Jana. <clears throat> Number three. He is the pronoun. So the sentence is, he is Jared. So the antecedent is Jared. Let's see the number four. The pronoun is she. The sentence, my dog barks when she plays. Which one is the antecedent? Dog, dog. Let's see the next one. They, my dogs rest after they exercise. <clears throat> that is the sentence. Which one is the antecedent? dogs let's see the exercise let's see the exercise underline the pronoun and circle the antecedent in each sentence the number one joshua said he would dim the light from backstage joshua it's the antecedent so the pronoun is he right Let's see the next one. Number two. Mary turned on the flashlight, but I did not work. But I did not work. So, flashlight is the antecedent. It is the pronoun. The number three. Number three. Lucy hoped she had extra batteries in her pocket. Lucy is the antecedent. She and her are the object and subject pronoun. Subject and object pronoun. Number five, the class shouted, we are going to be great tonight. So the class is the antecedent. We is the pronoun. And number six, Bart and Gary, you will help people in the audience find their seats, said the principal. So Bart and Gary are the antecedents. You, audience, and there are the pronouns. Okay, so do you have any question? The number four said Andy's friend helped him practice his lines to the play, for the play. Andy is the antecedent. Him and his are the pronouns. People, do you have any question? No, you don't have any question? Please keep working on the English lab, people. Keep working on the English lab. Yes, Guardiola. Before this class, the English lab finished for me. Finish with you. You finish the English lab. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, you receive a diploma, right? I will share, just give me a, a minute. I will share with you what I'm talking about. Let's see, just wait. Because we have time, we have time. Okay, just wait. Yes, when you finish, 
all the lessons and all of that you will receive a, a diploma recognizing because you finished right because you finished the 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 um, all the lessons all the playlists i i already made for you so uh i i would like you to see i would like you to see let's see this one i will not share this in the, the screen right now right I will not share the screen right now. So um, let's see. Um, I don't know how to do this. Ah, yeah. Okay, just wait, people, because I'm trying to do this better. I try to do this better to see all of us and watch what I'm going to talk about with you. Okay. So when you finish all the all the lessons in the Imagine Learning, uh, you will receive a diploma, right? You will receive a diploma like this one. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it or you can try to see it. Can you see it some, something? What can you see? That one. Okay. Can you see it? When you finish all the lessons and all of that, okay. Certificate of completion. Congratulations. You complete all the Imagine Language and Literacy curriculum for your grade level. Okay, you will receive this. Okay, but if you don't finish, you won't receive this. So you have to work. Okay, you have to work, people. Right? Yes, Jose Manuel. Eh, yo también recibí el diploma y Guardiola, ¿por qué nivel terminaste? Ahí, ahí finish the imagine learning. Yes, Ana, you can go. <laughs> okay, so people, uh, you have. To finish all of that, you have to work in, in all the lessons of the Imagine Learning, okay? So, please keep working. That is the only assignment for this week. Just uh, work on the on the Imagine Learning platform, okay, in the English lab. Okay, that is the only thing you have to do. Also, review the topics because the next week you are going to have the, the, the quizzes, the right, the guides, the evolution guides. Okay, people, so see you at one o'clock for spelling, the review for spelling. Enjoy your lunch, take care.